now coming to the another lecture on a standard cycle this time i will discuss about the diesel cycles uh, which is similar to the auto cycle uh, there is some difference between the auto cycle and diesel cycle i also discuss it so before going to the diesel cycle uh, i am recapitulate the previous lessons which i i which i covered in the auto cycle that what will be the assumption of the air standard cycle uh, there are some assumptions in the air, st air standard cycle those are the heat is added and reject with the external heat reservoirs second one is the air is considered as the ideal gas third one is the all the process in the power cycle are reversible fourth one the air acts as a ideal gas and specific heats are constant throughout the process so the air and the air is acts uh, in the power cycle is ideal in condition and specific heat throughout the process will be constant last one is that the exhaust process is modeled by heat rejection process uh, that restores the working fluid at its initial stage so it is a cycle so the after the exhaustment of the products it will come back to its initial state these are the assumptions of the air standard cycle which is applicable for auto cycle similarly it is applicable for diesel cycles now i am coming to some uh, terminology which is known as engine terminology there is a reciprocating engine in this figure and there is some term like top dead center tdc bdc for bottom dead center so what is those term i will just recapitulate it as per the previous lectures so the top dead center top dead center the position of the pistons when the minimum volume is ob obtained in the cylinders so if the cylinder piston moves to the tdc the, the top point of the cylinder then volume in the uh, entrapped volume in the cylinder by the pistons is minimum in case of cylinder uh, in case of this cylinder the piston is at the bottom dead center then the volume will be maximum and this center is known as bottom dead center what will be the stroke the largest distance between top dead center and bottom dead center is known as stroke sometimes this is known as also swept length bore the bore is the piston diameter intake valve through which the air or air fuel mixture will come this is known as intake valve what will be exhaust valve after the combustion process the combustion product escaped the cylinder through this valve this valve is known as exhaust valve what is the clearance volume after the uh, after when the pistons reach the tdc then you get some volume this is the minimum volume which is entered by the cylinder this volume is known as clearance volumes what is the displacement volume the displacement volume is nothing but the uh, which i get for from the displacement of the pistons that is that is actually the volume uh, of uh, volume of the cylinder between top dead center and bottom dead center what is the compression ratio the compression ratio are is the ratio between the maximum volume and minimum volume and what is the mean effective pressure mean effective pressure is the average pressure by uh, through which the uh, piston acts so this is the uh, average pressure in the throughout the pressure so if we if uh, determine the what will be the work done by the pistons that will be nothing but the force into the displacement what is the force force is nothing but mean effective pressure mep that is the mean effective pressure into the piston area into stroke and the piston area and the stroke together uh, gives you the displacement volume so the net work w net that is equal to the mep into displacement volume and what will be the displacement volume displacement volume nothing but the maximum volume minus minimum volume so mep will be w net by v max by v min these are the main terminology which is associated for the air standard cycle or any type of gas 
power cycles now i am coming to the a diagram which is indicate what will be the spark ignition engine engine or what will be the compression ignition engine the diesel engine is under the compression ignition engine so the whatever right in the green box which is associate uh, with the diesel power cycles so this is the compression ignition engine what will happen in this compression engine engine air is compressed in a high pressure and temperature that combustion occur when the fuel is injected to the chamber and the diesel engine is uh, is the compression ignition engine that's why the compression process is the main cause of the ignition that's why the diesel engine also known as compression ignition engine although the auto engine and diesel engine both are under internal combustion engine coming to the diesel cycles what is the diesel cycles in this case we see there are a process uh, you see this is the diesel diesel cycles in the auto cycle there is the heat is add in the process in constant volume but in this case the heat is added at constant pressure this is the main difference between the auto cycle and diesel cycle and the right hand side indicates the ts diagram or uh, that's mean the temperature and enthalpy diagram according to the process so first process process one two is known as isentropic compression of the fluid so isentropic what is the meaning of isentropic the meaning of isentropic is the process is adiabatic and reversible both are together and reversible the second one two three process is reversible constant pressure heat or heating or heat addition process the three four is the isentropic expansion and for one the process is the heat rejection process or cooling process this is reversible constant volume and the heat is reject from the cylinder at constant volume so there is the two important percent on two three is the constant pressure heat addition process and for one which is constant volume cooling or heat rejection process now i want to derive the expression what will be the thermal efficiency expression of the diesel cycle so now what will the heat addition q1 or q in in this process is nothing but mcp t3 minus t2 so at constant pressure that's why it um, uh, m uh, mst actually thus this this cp is the nothing but the specific heat at constant pressure so mcp t3 minus t2 in case of heat rejection it will be mcp t4 minus t1 but what will be the work done work done nothing but the heat supply minus heat rejection this heat is act to produce the work so w net that is w heat supplied uh, sorry heat supplied minus heat rejection and that will be the give this expression now what is the efficiency efficiency nothing but output by input here output is the in form of work so work done by heat supplied so work done is nothing but we take from the previous expression and we put it then we get expression with the temperature and the gamma gamma is nothing but cp by cv now what will happen in case of process one two this is the isentropic process if we put pv to the power gamma equal to constant and for ideal gas pv equal to constant if we make this together together uh, mathematical formula then we get the temperature relation between point 0.1 and point 0.2 is that t1 by t2 it will be v1 by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 then we get the expression of t1 with in terms of t, uh, t2 in terms of t1 and r and what is the r r is the compression ratio it is maximum volume by minimum volume or v1 by v2 similarly in case of process 2 3 it is the constant pressure process uh, constant pressure process and this is the heat addition process also in this case you get if we apply the same formula then we get t3 by t2 that will be the v3 by v2 and that will be t3 will be rc into t2 the ratio v3 and v2 is known as rc 
this ratio is known as cutoff ratio so rc is the cutoff ratio and uh, you know the expression of t2 from the previous equation and you get the t3 in terms of t1 so this is the t2 t3 whatever we get in terms of t1 similarly during the process 3 and 4 you will get the expression of t3 by t4 and in there you get that r by rc to the power gamma minus 1 where r is the compression ratio and rc is the cutoff ratio so and how we get it now since the v4 by v3 will be v1 by v3 so v4 and v3 are v4 and v1 are same so in place of v4 we can write v1 so we multiply and divided by v2 this term then it will we can write that v1 by v2 cross v2 by v3 and that will give you r by rc so if we apply the main equation that w net by q1 is the efficiency of the diesel engine then we get the expression or all the expression in terms of basically uh, the temperature in the main formula then we will get the efficiency of the diesel cycle is a this type of long term now uh, that will be 1 by 1 minus 1 by r to the power gamma minus 1 times rc to the power gamma minus 1 by r into rc minus 1 so the outside of the bracket is the same as the diesel cycles now come to the note that uh, if the rate portion in the efficiency of the diesel cycles if we put one then we will get the efficiency of the auto cycle so in case of auto cycle what is this one minus one by r to the power gamma minus one and there is a another cutoff ratio term is associated in the uh, diesel cycles which is not present in uh, during the auto cycle so this is the final expression of the efficiency of diesel cycles now i compare these two cycle the auto cycle and diesel cycle the efficiency of auto cycle is more in case of same compression ratio if the compression ratio is same then auto cycles is uh, efficiency is more than the diesel cycle the diesel engine uh, burn the fuel more completely since they actually operate at lower rpm and air fuel ratio is much higher than the spark ignition engine this is the another uh, difference between these two the diesel cycle compression ratio is typically between 15 uh, to 25 uh, where the spark ignition uh, ratio engine between 7 and 10 and the in case of a auto engine drawn a mixture of petrol and air during the suction stroke a diesel engine drones only the air during the suction so this is the one of the main uh, difference between these two and the last one is the the basically the compression ratio is less so uh, you, you already uh, understand the cylinder length of the cylinder is less so in case of auto cycle the engine is uh, small and cost uh, co cost maintenance cost is less than the diesel cycle these are the basically main difference between the auto cycle and diesel cycle and and there is some uh, um, uh, homework for you uh, to uh, determine the process uh, how to make it so uh, this is the uh, so this slide indicate the home tax or assignment for you uh, in this period and up to this uh, thank you very much for your attention so please do this assignment very carefully and i think you can uh, answer all those things uh, whichever uh, give in this assignment thank you very much thank you for your attention